Diffusion is an important process that carries out most of the cell's passive transport of chemicals across the plasma membrane. But diffusion is not just limited to cell membranes. It can also occur in fluid environments like liquids or gases outside of a cell, where chemicals are moving in an overall direction from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. When chemicals are diffusing, they are moving randomly in all directions through their environment, but their net overall movement is toward an area of low concentration. This is a passive or downhill process where no additional energy is required to move the chemicals. In this example, a drop of red food coloring, the solute, is added to a glass of water the solvent. The drop of food coloring is the area of high concentration, and it's going to randomly disperse or diffuse throughout the glass of water to areas of low concentration. So we say that the solute is moving down its concentration gradient from high concentration to low concentration. Eventually, all of the food coloring and water molecules will become evenly mixed, and at that point, equilibrium is achieved. All of the molecules are still in random motion at equilibrium, but there is no longer any net movement of the food coloring toward areas of lower concentration. When equilibrium is reached, diffusion has essentially stopped. There are many factors that influence the rate or speed of diffusion across a membrane surface, such as the steepness of the solute's concentration gradient, temperature, the size or mass of the solute, membrane surface area, and diffusion distance. The concentration gradient plays an important role in diffusion rate. The steepness of a gradient refers to the difference in the range of the chemical's concentration on one side of the membrane relative to the other. For example, if we have a very high concentration of a solute, say at 95% on one side of the membrane, and a very low concentration of the solute at 5% on the other side of the membrane, the gradient is described as being very steep because of the large concentration difference. The steeper the gradient, the faster the diffusion rate. Contrast this to a concentration difference that is not as large, where the concentrations are more similar, such as a 60% concentration of the solute on one side of the membrane, and a 40% concentration on the other side. Diffusion will still occur but at a much slower rate because the concentration difference is much smaller. Temperature also plays a role in diffusion, where the diffusion rate is faster at higher temperatures and slower at colder temperatures. For example, when body temperature is elevated during exercise or a fever, diffusion is occurring faster compared to the body's normal lower temperature. The size or mass of the solute also influences diffusion rates. Very small solutes move quickly, whereas large solutes move more slowly across a membrane. The surface area of a membrane is the overall amount of membranes surrounding a cell. When you wrap gifts during the holidays, the amount of wrapping paper you use to cover the gift is like the surface area of membrane wrapped around a cell. This is why membranes in cells and organelles are often folded. A folded membrane packs more surface area into a very small space compared to a smooth, unfolded membrane. So cells with a very high membrane surface area like these simple columnar epithelial cells lining the small intestine with their folded finger-like villi, experience a much faster diffusion rate as they absorb nutrients. The distance that solutes have to diffuse across is also important. 
This is why plasma membranes are so thin and cells aren't as big as beach balls. It doesn't take long for chemicals to move across short distances. Therefore, smaller cells have faster diffusion rates. The longer the distance a chemical has to move across a cell, the slower the diffusion rate. 